Hello world. This is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor from Johnson County Community College. In this short screencast, we're going to talk about Demo 1, the JavaScript drum kit, what I'm looking for in order to get 20 out of 20 points on this project. I'm going to want you to document your name and date at the top of all files, the source of all your code and other content, what was new or challenging about the project, and then I'm going to want you to document what significant modifications or improvements you've made to HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And so let's just take the solution files that were given for the very first project, the very first challenge, the drum kit, and then show you how I modified them to earn a 20 out of 20 on this project. So here's the solution files that West Boss provides to us. This is a really fun project. It uses the home row to create this little drum kit and you can see there's a nice little transition on the letter and Wes will explain all that in his video and how that was created. My modification then was to take his project and do something different and I decided to do bird sounds and so if you tap a B you're going to get the Oriole sound. If you tap an R you're going to get the Finch sound, the Goldfinch sound, an N for Cardinal. Now the HTML and CSS changes, the significant changes are sort of obvious. So I'm going to jump over to the files and show you how to document them and also show you the significant JavaScript difference. For HTML, we're going to want to use the head section to do our comments. And you can comment the HTML file with HTML comment or you can use these meta tags which are kind of cool as well. I also want you to make sure that you're very cognizant of giving credit where credit is due. All of these projects are going to be adapted from JavaScript 30 and so I want you to put that in the head section. Let's give Wes Boss credit. He's giving us all of this content for free and it's really educational and so I want to make sure that we just get into that habit of giving credit to the folks that are giving us this wonderful code. And then I want you to put one more comment in for the new things that you're being exposed to in this particular project. For example, I don't use the audio in KBD, which stands for keyboard elements very often. And so those were new elements for me to work with. I read about them in textbooks, but I had really never used them much. As far as attributes, I'd never really used the data dash attribute very often, and that is explained well in Wes Boss's video. So those were the new things that I learned. In CSS, again, we're going to be documenting our name, where we're getting this code, adapting this code from, and the new things that we are being exposed to. So these are all the different new properties that I had not really used very often. And so I was exposed to a lot with this particular project. In the JavaScript, same idea. Who are you? Where did you adapt this from? And what new information or new concepts or new techniques are you being exposed to? Where is your brain being stretched? Documenting those things will give you a 10 out of 20 on this project. But to get a 20 out of 20, I want you to significantly improve it. And so you're going to have to pick that significant improvement carefully. My significant improvement was to add code to listen for click events. So instead of simply tapping a B to get the Oriole, I could also click on the B to get the Oriole. In Wes Boss's example, I have to press A to get the clap. I can't click on A. I'm trying to click on it right now. I can't click on A to get the clap. So that was my significant improvement. And that then in turn required me to change things in the HTML and CSS as well. I can look at your project and see that yes, the HTML and the CSS has changed, but you're going to have to spell out to me where you've added code to improve the JavaScript and that's what will get you a 20 out of 20 on this project. But when I showed this to a friend, the friend said, well, it'd be really cool if you could click on the different parts of the hummingbird and fill in colors, or it'd be really cool if you could click on a letter and show a picture of that particular bird. And so those are great ideas, but once you get your one significant improvement in the JavaScript done, you may want to move on to your next project just from a project management, time management standpoint, because these things can be improved forever. 
I'm just attempting to expose you to a wide range of ways to use JavaScript, and I want you to have fun. Thank you.